All right, let's get going. So, the situation is I have 280 red ammo. I have turrets around the base that are yeah, in various stages of ammo depletion. Yeah, these ones for example. And these ones also kind of running out-ish, almost. And yeah, and we have some biter nests close by in various directions, and we need to get some iron, and I was first going to go for this one. Uh, because it was the one I could see. Hello Sistox, welcome back. Uh, this was the one I could see, so I was going to go for that one, which would probably mean just taking out all five of these nests. Um, these are like two merged ones even. Maybe even this one, probably even this one. So that's kind of an investment in resources. Uh, but then we just recently, recently revealed this one. And this one is in the same direction as this oil and this coal. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for this one instead. It's also yeah, way less resistance, resistance on the way there. Uh, maybe there are a few more nests out here, I guess we'll see. Uh, but this seems more promising at the moment. Um, so taking out one of these nests is probably going to take like four or five hundred ammo or something. Uh, of which I will spend between one and two hundred, I think. Um, so yeah, I need to save up enough ammo to go out and do that. Maybe in the meantime I should go out and take this one out. On the other hand, the pressure from down here hasn't really been all that bad. I think these have been the ones that have been really problematic because they've been hitting here and taking out the power plant. Which is not great, of course. Um, I have been considering going for trains, but I, uh, I don't really... I don't have the technology yet. I would have to research this and this. And yeah, probably that's enough, actually. I wouldn't be driving the trains, but yeah, I wouldn't have to research these three technologies. That's a total of... Four, eight, oh, well. Fifteen hundred packs. So that's actually probably a bit more than what's left in this iron patch. So yeah, that's off the table, I suppose. I uh, literally cannot get the technology before I go out here and get this. Uh, even so, I think it's just... I think I just want to go out of there and take it on belts to get it over with. Um, but yeah, I think I need to go up here and re reinforce this a bit before it gets destroyed. But let's see, how is the production of not steel? Red ammo looking. Okay, we are currently producing much more red ammo than we're consuming. About twice as much, actually. That at least is comforting. It's not going to last for long though, because there's only 50,000 remaining here. And in the last hour I have consumed 43,000, so that's like one and a half hours remaining. Um, if I'm lucky. So, yeah. That is a summary of the current situation. Okay, that is okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. I've the crazy. I have had some time off as well. Several weeks actually. It's been very nice. Okay, so let's make a tour uh, around these turrets and reinforce the ones that need it. Oops. There we go. <laughs> but way too tired to the game today, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Victoria is, uh, I guess, surprisingly uh, intense at times, especially when you're doing something like this. Like sometimes I've been thinking, yeah, I'll play some Victoria and eat some snacks and something while I do it. The problem is that Victoria engages both the brain full time and also both of the hands full time, so. It's not really a sit back and watch kind of game, at least not in my experience. So. Trace this one. Yeah, like I said before we left last time, I it, it feels like I'm taking like five steps forward and four steps, steps back on this ammo production. Because now I'm back down to 150. And like I said, I need to be up to about 500, I think, before I can go ahead and take out one of those bases. Hello? Sisksek? Or Sisak or something? Good evening. Is this the same game as last night? Yes, it is. And we'll see how long this lasts. It's, it feels like either I'm going to die in the next one or two hours, or I'm going to take this iron and maybe stabilize. I might also take this iron and then die one or two hours after that. We'll see. Hello, I robot. Welcome back. Glad to see we're still alive for now. We're still alive for now. Let's not take anything for granted here. <laughs> Good possibility, yeah. Right, so I was talking about maybe doing some train stuff. Yeah, but I don't have the technology. But I guess in the downtime here... I Oh, that's nice. 150 almost ammo. Now I could set up some of these assemblers to start making some of the things I would be doing with engines and trains. Uh, most importantly the engines themselves. Actually can I research that? Yeah let's research engines. Which means I need to re-enable this and this. Uh, just because engines take a lot of time to produce, so that gives me some time to uh, to buffer up some, well, buffer. Uh, and this was going to be, I think, like this? Oh yeah, okay, so this needs to go there. And then this can come back down there. And all is well. So this will be engines once I have that finished. And these do not need to be fast inserters. I guess I'll set these up as well. I can mark them for deconstruction so they're not consuming any power. At least I think they don't consume power if you do that. With I'm pretty sure I checked that a while ago. So just oh, get that one too, and mark everything for deconstruction to save the power. These power poles can stay though. Oh, and these need to stay as well. This needs to be limited to like 200 inches maybe. Okay, so now here I can start making like train engines and stuff like that once I get those technologies. I will need to get some steel in here as well. I guess I should set that up as well. 
which means this belt will be going the other way. So it was locomotives, pumps, and I think whatever that was. Oh yeah, flamethrowers, of course. One of those is going to be flamethrowers. Probably, yeah, I don't know. One of them. Uh, right, so I need to connect that belt as well. And I'm not sure what I will have on the other side of this belt. But we'll figure that out later. Oh, and I also need to rotate that one. How's this looking? 200? Okay, we're getting there. I'm also very soon going to need to start producing pipes. Specifically underground pipes. Okay, and make sure that's one-sided. And why is this not working? Ah, because this is taking all the plates again. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't really have any iron plates. Quite simple as that. Uh, these are still full though. Yeah, okay, that's good. So, anything else I can do while I wait for this? I guess I can start sketching on some... Oh yeah, I still have that in my... Undo history even. Can start sketching on some oil processing. So if I bring up my spreadsheet again, I have ten um ten uh, refineries and for that I need twenty-six of these making light solid fuel out of light oil in order to consume everything. Um and make sure nothing is ever blocked. What if I... and I think it's... what, it's um, let's see... is it like 18? No. Way less. Okay, it's nine light oil cracking plants. So I need nine for light oil cracking. I need three for heavy oil cracking. And these 26, I probably won't do all of them because I probably won't actually need all of them. And then let's see if I don't crack any light oil, or actually if I do crack all the light oil, then I would need, how many? I think it's 20. Yeah, I would need 20 of these making solid fuel out of petroleum in order to consume all the petroleum. Which would only really happen if I'm short on, like, um, lubricant or something. Which should never happen, really. I guess it can also happen if I'm short on uh, solid fuel. Or light oil, rather. Actually, if I'm short on light oil... That means I'm not cracking any. So in that case... I only need 11 petroleum solid fuel. So let's keep 10. And these 26, I probably don't need all of them. Or do I? Yeah, I probably can use all of them, actually. Wait, no, that's if I'm... If I have too much petroleum, these will kick in, and I shouldn't really have too much petroleum most of the time. So let's keep, like, 18. 
And let's see, do these fit in here? Okay, they do fit in. Can even squeeze a few more of them in. So something like that, and then we'll have lubricant there. Maybe like that even. Okay, let's lay some pipes. So let's see, this one needs... these need to be something like that. Okay, so this one can be like so. So that's four. Can this be made more compact is the question. Answer is no, it cannot be made more compact. And I don't remember which is which in the order here. Maybe I should look that up somehow. Heavy light patrolling, is that the order maybe? Heavy light patrolling. Oh, hello. Oh, I haven't refilled this one. Uh, looks like they're not going for that one though, maybe. Or maybe they are. So let's say heavy light petroleum. Uh, I want probably heavy on the inside. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Never mind, this works. This is fine. So like that. And then power pole. I think that's ten, yeah. side. I don't remember which of these is oil and which is water either. Well, this will do in either case. And then let's see down here. Maybe like petroleum. At least that's the uh, working hypothesis here. some tanks. And I think we can do like this over here. Get all the light oil over this way. Get the heavy oil over this way. Right, and this, these are going to need water as well. And I don't remember which is which here either. This is not going to work. Let's say it's this one, and if it's not, we can just rearrange them. If it matters. Oh, wait, that's not going to work. Uh, right. Okay, so I need a bit more space there. Something like that. And like that. And then we'll have petroleum over here. Whoops. Not quite that far. Let's see. And we're guessing this is petroleum. We'll squeeze a tank in somewhere around here. Like there, maybe.
and then I'll do the rest later. Oh, let's see, 362. Uh, this is sort of steely. Okay, so now I have 500 ammo, which is along the minimum of what I need to go out this way. So I should reinforce here before I go. I should re I should just take a tour of the entire base and reinforce everything that needs to be reinforced. Maybe even put some walls, actually. Let's take some more walls with me. See if we can make any use of those. Oh yeah, <laughs> they just hit here. Wait, is that tree gone now? Oh! Oh, the buyers have killed the tree. Means I can pull that one in there. Oh, right. <laughs> this was when I threw grenades here. <laughs> this damage was not done by biters. That was me. So I think this one I want to move forward a bit. Are those coming up here? No, they're not. Okay. So I think I want to move this forward to this choke point here. Can I actually reach? Okay. I don't actually want to put the turrets there, because those are just going to get sniped by the spitters. But at least I think I want to make use of that choke point. I'll leave a couple of turrets here as backup. I'm gonna go down here instead. Let's put that right there. So we have coverage of the choke as the biters are coming in here. Let's also make sure not to get caught in the water. some extra balls in case of big biters. Maybe I should have a bit more space here actually because I think the the spitters are splashing a bit.
Okay. Now no, let's go down here. Buff these up a bit. Okay, looks like the production rate has gone down a bit. Oh yeah, it's gone down by half. Is that mayhaps because I have re-enabled science? Well, let's disable these for a while, because I need red science. Okay, now let's see how these are going to do. <laughs> okay, that was pretty much perfect. Mostly thanks to there not being any biters there, only spitters. When there are only spitters, they just fall very easily. Since they don't have any biters to tank for them. Yeah, should I restart this maybe? Don't think I need it yet. Yeah, there's plenty of stone on the belt still. Okay, that's running out very fast now. And I've spent all my ammo on reinforcing these things. So yeah, maybe it's just gonna come down to... right to... Um, huh. uh, come down to a matter of just a few rounds of ammo. I think I'm just going to disable this for now, because I don't re really need any of what's being produced here for the moment. I guess I can uh, disable it there already. Sciencing for the moment. Oh. Okay, so that should eventually make the iron back up all the way out to here. 
Well, it's going to take quite a while. But at that point all the iron will be flowing into steel instead. I guess I can... Mm. I mean, I guess I could put priority on this. Maybe I should, yeah. Maybe I should. Priority left. No, that one. Yeah, this is about to run out very, very soon. Take that. Let's see if we can get any more of this stuff. Because we have a lot of uh, yellow ammo stored up here. So it's really only the steel I need for this. I don't think I'm going to need to expand the steel furnace. Yeah, that's 14. That's not even going to fill this half lane. Maybe I should just move all three of these. Yeah, I can probably keep this one, but at least move these two all the way out to the choke point here. That means a uh, significantly lower investment of ammo just being stored here. Seems sensible. Something like that. And maybe half of that. Something like that, maybe? That is 20 turrets, and this is 12 plus 12. Okay, so only if... Oh wait, this one. 14 plus 1, so 6 fewer turrets. Not a lot, but at least something. I'm gonna leave these turrets here for now. And I hope I don't get killed while I'm out here. I accidentally lined those two up perfectly. I spend all that time setting this up and then I immediately tear it down again. Well, that's fine. 
Right, that looks pretty good. If the miners keep doing that and just filing in one at a time along the uh, along the edge there, then this is going to be very, very, very good. Okay, those took some damage, unfortunately. But that is a bit inevitable when when there are spitters. looking now. Okay. actually, because they almost spent half their ammo in that first wave. Uh, let's put a few more back here to deal with any stragglers in case they do break through here. See how this goes. Oops. Oh, I didn't pinch that. <laughs> I think it's okay. Should probably have a radar out here. I was thinking about that, but didn't put one. On the other hand, I, it's nice to have the two high that I have. So you're running short on well everything, so <laughs> it's nice to not have to produce more than I need. Okay, I think it might be time. 
Question is, do I take out some of these nests before I go? Some of the small ones. I think I just go. I have 50 miners, okay. That's more than I thought I had. Going hunting. Yeah, I don't think I'm going for these right now. Oh wait, I, I, I don't really have enough ammo right now. I need a bit more. Not much more, but a bit more. But yeah, I will be trying to go for that outpost very, very soon. I think I want to go up to 500 ammo and then go. Yeah, this is dwindling fast now. Power's looking good. I should take a blueprint of the entire base before I leave. Just to have some backup for the things that the biters destroy while I'm gone. And in that one I should unmark this. This should be fine. And then I can un unmark them. And now we wait for the steel. Okay, so about 20 more, and then we should be good. Good to go. So then the new iron melt will be coming in somewhere around here. There-ish. Maybe take it all the way down so that I can keep it straight as long as possible. There's a tree. There are trees can just take out some of these trees so that I can get it in here. So it looks good. And yeah, that's about all I can do right now. I can put some power poles as a guide. Five eighteen. Let's go. I think I'm gonna keep that prioritized on making ammo. Because that is what I mostly need right now. Maybe I should restart this making turrets. Yeah, I should restart that making turrets. Because like I said yesterday, in this game Turrets are consumable. That's just the way it is. So, I'm actually going to connect the iron belt right away here. So that I can just plug it in and go. Okay, so this was the one I was planning to bring in from the north. So let's just use that one. are doing remarkably well for being so few. Okay, 
So now I need to be observant of biters coming to kill me. This is a danger zone. Okay, there's a nest. Probably gonna need to take that out. Uh, looks like not too many worms, so that should be fine. The cliffs are a bit awkward though, but yeah, it looks like there's only one worm. That makes it a lot easier. this this way so I'll be coming in around here probably keep some distance from the worm I hope this is out of range for the worm. I'm not sure though. Okay, first wave dealt with. Okay, this is still out of range for the worm. That is two. No surprises in the south. Okay, worm is down, the rest should be easy. Okay, there is a surprise from down south. Okay. Nothing too bad though. Red ammo really makes this so much faster. Okay, done and done. And we go back. So now let's see how much ammo remains. I left the ammo station with about 518, I think, or 20-ish. Still have... Okay, so I spent about 50 on that. Huh. That's actually a bit more than I wanted. I guess I left some... Yeah, I left like 20 in the base, actually. So it's more like 30. Okay. That's a bit more in line what, with what I was expecting. I think I can leave that small nest to the north for now. Because they're probably not going to aggro on this. And they're also shielded by the trees. Whoops. No. Yeah, they're not even in pollution right now. On the other hand, they will be soon after I start up this outpost. But that'll be a problem for then. 
So now let's see. Maybe it's time for a radar somewhere around here. Push on a bit further before I place the radar. Oh yeah, I only brought two radars actually, so can't be too cavalier with those. Okay, so if I put a radar here, that's probably just going to be destroyed. At least if I leave it. But let's place one here so I can see a bit more. Okay, I can't see much more though. So take that with me. Uh, yeah, I'll just go straight west, I suppose. Unless that aggroes this. It's a bit tense. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm only committing severe environmental destruction. Don't mind me. So I have seven more of these. It's so one, two, three, four, five, okay. Don't think I want to go that much further this way, maybe? Can I see anything more with a radar? Okay, just a bit more, and there's still not a nest there, that's good. I think I can go a bit further that way. Makes it a bit easier to have... north-south aligned belts so I don't have to squeeze in a lot of turns in the belts. So what about here? Okay, still no more nests. So there's this one nest right on top of the iron, which we can probably take out without too much hassle, I think. Okay, so I'll need that one. South. They really are right on top of this iron. They are going to get mad very soon. So 
So I think from here I will concentrate on the combat here. Okay, combat mode. Initial wave handled. A bit too close. Okay, two more worms down. No? Quite yet. Okay, only one more worm remaining. There's spine there. Okay, that's the last of the worms. Only lost one turret, so that's pretty good. And Evo is 48%, just on the cusp of big biters. Okay, now I just need to shore up this expansion here and then build some miners. if I could get some copper here so that I can make uh, ammo on site. But I think I don't quite have the luxury of thinking too much about that. Uh, or worrying too much about that. Uh, let's place a pillbox like there-ish. And one there-ish. Okay, so about 300 ammo remaining. That's pretty good. Minor time, finally. Let's get rid of that tree. Oh, okay. So, we'll start from here.
Maybe I should have turned from the other direction as well. Probably. Yeah, I should probably do that first. So like... There-ish and... There-ish. First of all, let's get this going. Send that off on the belt. So now everything around here is going to be pissed because there's pollution coming. It's fine for now. See how long we can keep this. Radar has revealed anything new. Looks like it hasn't quite yet. Well, I guess, I guess there's some uranium. Well, that's not very useful right now, at least. So, more miner. Like this is the repeating unit, or this rather. Hmm. 
Uh, whatever. Just need to get myself... I think I can reach all of these from in there, probably. See how much I can build with the miners I have. Fifty-seven, that's yeah, more than I brought, so I'm not gonna be able to build more than that. I brought more than I would need. <laughs> I guess I didn't. This is gonna be just short of connecting everything, isn't it? <laughs> like, I guess I can recycle some of these walkway belts. That's all of those. Yeah, nine more. Oh, no. Let's get myself out of there so I can reach this. sides and go back to base with this shiny new iron right we have a lifeline and we have defenses working iron or ammo is there. 500? Nice. Okay. With this we just might survive for a while longer. So next up is going to be to make more miners and build this out fully. It's going to be like three belts. Cool. Maybe even a bit more. I need to keep an eye on myself here so that I don't get sniped by an expansion party or something on the way back. Right, so next, next is going to be to build more miners. Let's actually get started on that right now. Build more belts and then come back here. So for that I'm going to need way more belts, actually. Let's bump that limit up to a thousand. That iron will help? Yep. Certainly will. And if I can get another line of this, that will really bump up my production of ammo, because then I can have one dedicated line into steel and one into all the iron things. And if I can get three here, then I can get a second line of iron plates as well, which will also be very helpful. Because now I'm kind of strapped for iron between. Um, producing items and producing signs, because those are all sharing the same iron line right now. Oh. Okay, it 
my hands off the keyboard for a moment there. Yeah, let's hope these remain docile and don't attack for a while. Yeah, these are immediately getting aggroed. So, probably I'm going to need to quite soon go out and kill some of these. At least, at the very least, this one. I definitely need to kill this one. And probably these two as well, because they're very close and they're going to be just keep hammering this because it's putting up pollution. So, after that, I suppose. Oh, so yeah, the next thing is going to be oil processing and then try to get to modules. Probably. Or is it? Let's see, modules. Oh, those. Well, they do require oil processing because they, they require circuits. But they don't require blue signs. So I might get to modules before I get to robots. We'll see. Because these are the efficiency modules drastically reduce uh, pollution in the uh, um, in the miners like these are the uh, the main source of pollution right now well they always will be I guess actually and uh, putting three efficiency one modules in a miner cuts pollution by down to 20% Which also cuts ammo consumption down by about the same amount. This will be the first time you've ever seen anyone using efficiency modules, yeah? They... They're only really useful when you're wor worried about pollution. Uh, because for other problems, like, it's just easier to just build more power instead. Like, nuclear power, you can just get giant numbers out of very easily and uh, solar power you just slap down a few more blueprints and you're done and it's quite easy quite easy to just expand your power production to account for the power usage but pollution um there's not really much else you can do if you want to keep your pollution low other than just not producing things i guess uh, which is actually not to be underestimated as a strategy. <laughs> like, there have been a couple of times uh, in this playthrough where I've had blackouts and had the entire factory standing still for a while. And that actually does have the upside of uh, not producing any pollution, or at least less pollution. So there's that. Okay, now let's get rid of that priority. Now that we have a good iron supply again. But again, we'll see how long that lasts because this is going to be a major target for attacks. See, I'm going to need, need those belts. I'm going to need more miners. I'm going to need all this ammo and even more. Oh, 700. Nice. And yeah, it's time for another round of reinforcement around the base. Considering whether it's time to start automating ammo supply to the turrets, but I don't think it's really worth it yet. Because that means I will have a, a huge uh, belt stretch or going around the entire base. And uh, just having a lot of... Um, ammo allocated on the belt. They're also, also going to take a long while to, to build. And yeah, as long as... Actually, now the problem isn't so much that the turrets are getting destroyed, actually. It's mo actually more that they're getting or running out of ammo. Which I suppose is an argument for automating ammo supply. But I don't think it's time quite yet. These are actually doing fine. Don't really need to do anything here. <sighs> that belt. <laughs> I want to repair it.
So I should also prepare some assemblers for the uh, oil processing things, so that I can set that up as soon as I get the recipes. Ammo supply is definitely looking much better now. are still doing fine as well. Yeah, it's probably very soon time to push out to these choke points. Don't want to do it quite yet because I'm not mobile enough for that yet. But it's definitely approaching that time. Already two more, 200 more there. That's very nice. Let's actually grab these miners while I'm here, because I can use them right away, essentially. few more large purples if I have any. I don't think I do. Because I think I've disabled production of those, yeah. Let's make a few more. Can probably restart production of most of this now, I think. Okay, a lot of iron is going into there. Okay, this buffer is depleted. That's not great, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I just need to pick up more miners and place them out there. Oh yeah, I also need more belts still. Okay, that's a good amount of belts. Oh, this is running now. <laughs> Let's disable that. Don't need more of those right now. Poles. Can't take the turrets. Do I need more inserters? Not really. Could use a few more of these, maybe. Can use all of those miners. I don't think I want to restart science just yet. I think I want to save up a bit more ammo first. Oh yeah, I should take this down, at least most of it. Now that I have these. Oh! Oh, hi! You destroyed a lap. It's 
that's fine. I'm not using them right now, really. I will soon, though. Actually, let's leave 25 in these. another 500 so that should be fine yeah these are doing great much better better than they were doing up here I think yeah, I need to leave 25 in these haven't fired. That's perfect. Because these are meant as backup. So it's good if they keep their ammo. So now let's take down most of this. he's doing. Still doing okay. Oh, it looks like there's only been one attack on these. Maybe two. Yeah, two attacks. No attacks from this side. One medium biter from this side. Could use a few more walls, maybe? All of that ammo, perfect. So if I'm going to take those walls, maybe I should also restart the wall production. By which I mean uh, stone bricks. On the other hand, that is going to take a few miners. And I really want to focus my miners on iron. I have 39. Let's see how many more I need here. That is completely built out, and that is... 50 miners, okay, so I need all those miners for the mine. Need all of those belts. Don't need more splitters or undergrounds right now. Yeah, again, I should put a radar somewhere around here. Uh, speaking of which, I should take those. Okay, this is just not getting any gears, okay. Take the miners. 56, okay, so I can place six miners on stone. That's probably enough, actually. At least for now. I 
should also prepare some assemblers here for oil processing things. Uh, let's see. Steel gear circuit pipe stone brick. So the pipe will need to continue this way. Stone bricks in from there. Pipe. Let's see. Uh, pipe in and out. One, two, three, four, five ingredients. That should be all. So these are going to be input output. Uh, and those things are just steel, steel pipe, gear, circuit, sing there. Oh, so this also needs one in from there. These all need that, so I guess we'll have to put the power poles up here. that. This only needs that. And that. And then tanks I think we can make here. Tanks only require iron and steel. Output. Let's limit all of these to one stack. Let's also put a chest here. Okay, anything else I need for oil processing? Yes, I need underground pipes as well. Let's put those at the very end here. Since those are going to be using a lot of pipes. Also needs iron input. Can we snow? So I actually can or set that recipe for already. That's all I'm going to do for now. Okay, there are a few more miners, so let's grab those as well while I'm here.
finally we build this belt. Limit that to 250. Say 200. We'll make underground pipes. And there we go. It's gonna take all the iron. <laughs> well, a lot of it at least. Uh, I don't have enough belts to bring back another belt of iron, so let's pick those up. Oh, that's not a lot of belts. Hmm. Just take all of those. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Let's actually see. It's only 300. What happened to all those belts? Okay, I spent 600 in total. Okay, let's restart this. enough. So now miners. So this went that way, okay? stone coming down this way. I think it worked like this. Something like that, yeah?
And now this should be fully working again. Except there's a bit of coal contamination over there. Actually, it's probably easier to go a lot around this way. Dump all this stone. And that should be good. Dump that copper as well. These are still looking okay. These are looking okay. Okay, these are not quite looking okay. Still more than 50 miners, that's great. These are also looking okay. Okay, I'm gonna need to get back here quite soon. Oh, these are starting to run out. They're gonna be okay for a while longer though, yeah. It's probably okay for a while longer. Right, so let's prepare another belt in here. And I think I'll just put this one in there. Probably easiest. Uh, except maybe not, because I want these to expire. So maybe not exactly. Oh, this is not where I meant to go. But that's fine, I can just keep going up till there. Oh, actually, I should reinforce these. It's a bit telling that these still have a yellow ammo in them. <laughs> telling that... Uh, yeah, these turrets are doing pretty well. But, oh, I still have over a thousand ammo. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very nice. So, about this then. Um, these will come in there. Maybe I'll pull this one up 
beside it instead. And then merge everything in somewhere around here. Right, I am going to need a lot more power for this new mine. But I think we'll be fine for the time being. Things might run a bit slow, but we can fix that. How are these doing? Let's get these started again. Okay, pa pause this for a moment. I don't need more miners right now. Don't really need more turrets right now either. What's the limit on this? 200. Okay, so that's going to be paused soon. This one is paused. That one's saturated. Oh, there's a belt missing there. Uh, this, okay. Uh, these could probably also have 25 now. need to go back up there. Okay, we're getting some more coal there. It's nice. Still no more iron though. I am going to need more of that soon. But at least I can get three belts out of this. Three and a half. Or like three and a third? Yeah, three and a third. Okay, let's go connect another iron belt, or two, even. Two, actually. So, let's see. Let's merge this like so and take an input prior priority from the right. Yeah, and just merge those two like that, and then put this one in there. up a bit. Uh, actually, wait. Like that, and like that. No, wait, that doesn't need a priority. So that's going to be the iron. Yeah, 
and then this is gonna be the steel. Maybe I should also build the third and finish all these uh, actually. Uh, I don't think I need more disorders. I picked up nothing. I don't actually need that steel buffer right now. But I saw some inserters over here that were pointing in the wrong direction. So let's fix those. right Turns out I did need more inserters. Do I have more? No. Well, I have those. Just a few.
Okay, pick up materials. See how many more do I need here? Seventeen. Where is it? Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. That's quite bad. Let's go there right now then. Finish the rest of the furnaces later. Probably been, have been faster to go down here. Oh well. Okay, at least they didn't break through completely. It's gonna be ugly the next time they show up though. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I need to be um, observant about, to make sure they don't snipe me. right now. Maybe I should get on that when I get back. Oh, there's an attack from the north. Uh, 
and from the east. Okay. So I'm gonna need to figure out something better to do with this. Actually, I can move it in slightly. Send that there. I guess we'll see if these uh, were destroyed because they ran out of ammo or because they were overrun. Kind of looks like they were just run out of ammo actually, because I couldn't leave a lot of it here when I was here last time.
Okay, wait, was it? Oh, that's here, okay. Okay, this is still, still gonna hold for a while. So, let's figure out the rest of this. It's done. Are there any ghosts here? None. Okay, so only this one remaining. the belts over there. So let's see, these two together make up more than one belt, okay? This is more than one belt. Uh, so this will move to there. See, these three together are just more than two belts. Let's push all this to the left. and three belts. So here we can push it to the right again. In which case I don't really need those. These things should already push it to the right. No. Yeah, whatever. It will all come back into these three belts here anyway. These... Let's see. These are... More than one belt as well. How do I do this? <laughs> belts out this way. do it. Then I need to figure out a better solution for my walkways here, but that's okay. Do I need to go to back 
base immediately. Yes, I do, before they break through there. I would have liked to go take out this before I leave, but I don't think I have the diamond. That's a big spitter. Evo is 52%. Which side do I go here? That's a lot. I think I go on the left hand side. Wait, there's a belt there. Guess I can do this. Okay, that is also taking damage. Yeah, this was actually slightly more than three belts, wasn't it? Yes, that's gonna be fine though. It won't be th more than three belts forever. Although, I guess there is mining productivity upgrades, so maybe. Yeah. Either way, I can't really use more than three belts of iron right now anyway. I don't have the furnaces for it. I will need more eventually, but not quite yet. Those don't attack any of this. Okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> that radar is gonna die. That's a shame. There goes the radar. Okay, now I need more power.
Now this one. Goes in something like this. Looks like the back of turrets did their job here. Yeah, quite a bunch of kills. Just in time. Oh no. Okay, those were just walls. Should be okay, I hope. Still just belts and walls. That's okay. So now with this iron booster, I think we can restart the signs. Yeah, let's continue the engines. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, there is one stack, the limit. Let's get these started again. Okay, now the turrets are falling. Okay, there's quite a lot more ammo already. Very good. That's not great though. The power shortage. Should still be fine. I think these should be enough. 17. Yeah, that's more than double what I need if they're working full speed. So that should still be fine. Okay, now. Okay, some miners are falling. Quite a lot of damage there. It's unfortunate. This should be fine for a while. Oh, now we're seeing big biters here. That means I'm gonna need to get the next damage upgrade very soon as well. Maybe as soon as possible, actually. Soon making turrets. Oh, and I'm all out of belts. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like those buyers that have made it through have now been killed. Oh, okay, it's so now for the long trek back over there. Yeah, this is a reason to build trains. To 
cut down on this travel time. So I wonder how long it will take me this time to get to robots. Last time it took me, I think, about 21 hours before I had the first robots flying. And I'm currently at about 12, 13 hours. I don't know if I'll make it to robots before the 21 hour mark this time. We'll see. I think it could take anything between like 5 and 10 hours to get to robots from here. Assuming I survive that long, that is. This time they went for the turrets though. Okay, engine's done. Let's continue onwards to oil processing. Unless maybe this should be... Uh, red belts. I don't think it should be, not just yet at least, because I still need to build that factory in, in that case, which I can do, but yeah. More important is going to be to get to, f to uh, auto processing quite soon. So let's get the radar back in place.
Oh wow. Yeah. They did a number on this, didn't they? Guess I should probably plug that hole before anything else. Before they come back and make it bigger. Oh, I didn't bring any miners to replace them. Oops. Okay, so we get these back in place. Okay, those are all running again. And now I don't really have enough ammo to go and take out one of these nests anymore. Can I steal some from these, maybe? <sighs> I don't really want to go all the way back. Pick up ammo and then come back here. Okay, there's some I can steal. Alright. One thing I should do as well, but I should not do it right here, I should do it behind turrets. Set the recipe on this guy. Oh, wait. I goofed. That also needs steel, and I don't have steel right there. Right now. Hmm. Okay, so never mind that. Okay, that should be enough to take out one nest at least. Let's take this one because it's closest and getting hit by the most pollution. Three percent Evo, seven percent big biters. That's quite a lot of big biters. Uh, that reminds me, I should be researching damage upgrade.
Those were gathering quite far away from their nest. Hopefully I don't draw aggro from both of these nests at the same time. Probably will though. are gonna be an issue. Hopefully not too much of an issue. Okay, there's some aggro from the other nest. Fine here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, this nest is dead. Whew. That felt a bit scary at times, but we made it in the end. I should probably get an armor. <laughs> Because this acid is getting really potent now. It is quite an investment of science though. Well, maybe not the lightest ones. Or the heavy, I guess. So I already have technology for light armor. cost me about 150 ammo. So I don't feel comfortable going for another here, because I don't have enough ammo readily available. Because I need to be able to quickly insert a lot of it into one turret. And two stacks of ammo is just around the minimum comfortable level for that. getting no progress on the science. Did I disconnect the military science somehow maybe? This has no red science. And that is because there's no copper. Ah! Gonna need to expand copper mining. That's been a while since the last time. Okay, now let's leave a bit more ammo in these. That's okay. be okay. Uh, these are still there. No, they're dead. Okay. Don't 
don't need all of that ammo in those, probably. Right, back to the base. How far away is this? 800. 1600. That's actually not that much more. It's only 200. Okay. 300. Turrets. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. I guess that's also because no copper, I suppose. backed up on iron now because of the copper shortage is there any copper yeah there's a tiny bit of copper coming in oh i haven't even finished that on the other hand i haven't even built this out fully either uh, that's gonna mean no more ammo either actually that's a bit of a problem good thing i have 600 stored up there Yes, okay. That's good. The stone smelter is completely backed up as well. firepower on that side. Now ah, all the copper is going into this one. And saving up uh, green signs. That makes sense, I suppose. Oh, nice. 200 underground pipes is very good.
Oh, these are running out of ammo. Okay, that's gonna fall soon. Oh, I didn't pick up furnaces for this. Maybe now is a good time to set up the steel buffer, actually. And by maybe, I mean, like, definitely. <laughs> Now that we're deal dealing with big buyers, I suppose these should have a bit of wall as well. Okay, that's good. So oh, let's see. Let's. I think uh, six can be good. I was going to do four, but let's do six. Furnaces for up here. I'm also gonna need more belts. Not immediately, but very soon. So many is that? Thirteen.
Alright, I shall also fix the engine assembly here. So, let's see. This whole thing needs to move a bit. This needs to move like that. Oh wait, no, I also need the uh, thing. The steel. Um, can do this. But do I really want to? So just do this. Now like that instead. And then something like this. No, that doesn't work anymore. Still doesn't quite work. Yeah, still doesn't quite work. have a buffer there. Can I put the buffer somewhere else maybe? Because let's see, these are gonna need five engines apiece. 20 seconds and this is 10 seconds. So yeah, it would be nice to have a buffer of these. Would be quite nice. We can figure that out later. taking damage now. That's first time in a while.
Ah, some of these have run out as well. That also explains some of the shortage. And a big purple here as well, for some better connectivity. Actually, I want one more miner in there. So let's take a bit more space.
Okay, now the copper is doing good again. Gonna need to make some more furnaces though. Okay, upgrade copper my or smelting. Ghosts? No ghosts. Anything else missing or wrong? Looks like no, this all looks good. Look at that beautiful full coal belt or copper belt. Oh, it's always Hopefully now, yeah, now the science should get going again. Should maybe replace the labs that I lost as well. Ooh, okay, this is also running out and about to get destroyed. Right, and I need a bit more power as well. One percent! Yay! <laughs> On the signs. But really, that should accelerate but quite, quite a lot now. Yeah, look at that. We 
Maybe it's also time to upgrade all this to blue assemblers. Oh wait, that needs to be there. To keep this single-sided. Oh, whoops. That's no good. Uh, what was I doing? I don't remember what I was doing. Right, I need to expand power. Maybe that's the next thing to do. I'm also going to need some more coal mining quite soon. Am I low on power? Yes, I am low on power. Yeah, welcome back, Nox. I did grab an iron expansion. So now, for the moment, the iron supply is secured. But as you can see, it is taking a bit of damage, so I will need to go out there and attend it quite soon. In the meantime though, I am building up quite a nice buffer of steel here. So I won't be immediately strapped for ammo if I lo lose that outpost, which is nice. Okay, so now let's bring out this old blueprint again. See where we want to place this. I think like that was the idea. Let's see if I can get it on that side of that walkway. Looks like that is possible. I get rid of this. Yeah, that'll do. And then I'm gonna have a walkway down the middle through here as well. Okay, let's just upgrade all of these power poles. anymore.
Okay, and then offshore pump matches perfectly. And that, yeah, should already help. I need to go pick up some more steam engines and boilers for that matter. Do the fish pause when you mark them for deconstruction? Yeah. <laughs> Fish say, well, someone's gonna pick me up. I guess I'm freezing place here. <laughs> Don't want to make them disappointed. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I didn't have pipes on all of them. Did I get the oil too? Uh, not yet. Yeah, I know, you can automate fishing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. in here? Nope. Okay, power is fine for the moment, so let's go back to the outpost and, and uh, beef that up. Also, let's beef this up before it falls. Are these doing okay? These are doing okay. else I need? I don't think so. I can pick up a few of these. Right, I should pick up the uh, power plant components as well while I'm here. I should bump that up to a higher limit. chest somewhere. Okay, there. Let's bump that up to 
80. It's a full power plant. Uh, I need more boilers too. 28. How many do I need? Just 18. Okay, that's enough. Have enough pumps. Oh, that was 18, okay. I didn't expect that part of it to help as much as it did, but I guess there were a few more of those than I actually expected. Okay, I'm running low on coal. Yep, sure am. Yeah, I'm running very low on coal. But yeah, I need to get out here right now. Do I use efficiency modules to manage power consumption and pollution? Not yet, because I haven't researched them or even read circuits yet. But once I do, I certainly will.
hope those don't aggro on me. They do not, it seems. Okay. Okay, so I said I would need more firepower here, but looks like this is actually doing quite okay. Put a backup turret in here. Why do I make T's at walkway corners? Because I can show you in a moment. Uh, because otherwise the, uh, the way that the player is moved on belts is a bit finicky. So let's see, um, let's move this out, just straight out, so I can have this here. in here as well. Uh, no, that's a bit too close. Never mind. So here, now I'm on the right-hand side of the belt and I'm going into a right-hand turn, or left turn rather. 
So here, if I just do this, that works fine. Uh, but if I were on the left-hand side of the belt, like this, then this turn doesn't work anymore, because I don't collide properly with the belt in here. But if I do that, then it does work. So that's why I'm doing that. Quite simple, actually, but not something that, would you, that you would expect uh, right right away. I certainly didn't the first time I did this kind of thing. Um, oh wait. Seems bugged. Uh, I wouldn't call it a bug. Just an unexpected behavior of the belts. And I don't really think that the developers care very much about strange edge cases with the player riding belts. And I think they are quite right in not worrying too much about that. This should be good for another while. How much ammo do I have here? 500, good. Still not running out of that. Physical projectile damage size is moving, although slowly. It is at least happening. But yeah, it's okay, it's military science going slow because of low copper. Yeah, that could have gotten me killed if I had lingered in the map here for a few seconds longer and had a few seconds worse luck with those. There isn't a circuit buffer there that he can eat. Okay. 
That's fine. It's not too bad. Yeah, maybe I should make an armor just for some acid resistance. Forty percent. Fifty percent. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Oh yeah, I'm running on long coal. That's why everything is running slow. Uh, so... There's a bit more I can build out there. Other than that, I guess the best coal place is this one, probably. There's also this, which is, which is bigger, but it's also further out. I would prefer probably to keep... yeah, Probably just, just knock down these nests and keep everything gathered in a bit more, I think. Would be nice to see another iron outpost on the map, except for this one. Because as they go, this is one is still quite small. Okay, I guess this one is actually exploring a bit more here. Alright, looks like the power plants have maybe Backed up a bit on coal and a bit more is flowing down here now. Hello Limitex, welcome. What counts as walking? Uh, essentially using the WASD keys. Uh, not quite as easy or as simple as that though. Uh, because you're still allowed to use the WAS the WASD keys in the map view. Um, but no walking, no driving vehicles. Um, that's basically it, I think, actually, as for the walking. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, riding automated vehicles like trains and uh, spider trons is okay, but no driving them manually. Um, so yeah. Those are the rules I'm playing by here. Put a backup turret in here somewhere. Oh, they took these out. This 
challenge seems more fun to think about doing than actually do. <laughs> Maybe. I guess I am all about uh, technical memes, as Idea Channel put it, or call them. Things that are fun and interesting just because you actually go through the madness of actually doing it. Uh, the example they gave there was... They made a video titled B-Movie, but every time they say B, we explain the thing with the B-Movie. So yeah, they took like a, a standard 15 minute or so video for the, for the channel and uh, just spliced that in every time they said, they said B in the B-Movie. And the result was like... I don't know, 20 or something hours long? Or something like that? <laughs> quite crazy, in short. But also quite impressive that they actually went and did it. Wait, is that gonna fall now? Okay, not quite yet. These turrets are going to be enough to... or miners are going to be enough to set up the coal. Okay, take all of that. I am actually going to need a few more walls now. Let's put the steel in there, put the iron in there. Uh, where were the things I need to repair? There's one, there's one. This one is closest, so let's start there. So let's see, now I'm currently consuming 11 megawatts there, so that's 5 miners. And these are like 5 megawatts apiece when they're running fully, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 30 megawatts. So, 40 megawatts, that means I need 20 coal miners. This can almost support that, but not quite. But yeah, it's not far from it at least, so that's nice.
That's seventeen. Okay, yeah, that's close to enough. Not quite enough, but it's close to enough. Hello, Fabio isn't. Thanks for the good luck. Looking pretty okay right now, but I'm probably gonna need it further down the line. Oh wait, I need those. Eventually. <laughs> what are the turrets doing? Nine. It's still this coal shortage. That's the problem. Oops. See, I'm gonna need to go out and get this. As soon as I fi or finish these up. I guess I'm gonna need more ammo for that though. Let this build up a while longer. This is gonna bring me all the way out there. Good. Okay, these are about to run out now. That's also quite nice. It leaves this space for building out this. I should disable these because they they are consuming power but not doing anything. Uh, whoops.
Okay, looks like we're starting to see big sp or large numbers of big spitters now. That's a bit worrying. It means I really need to finish this damage upgrade. Would it be worth to aggro and kill zone biters at a little cliffport northwest? Maybe. But it's a bit far out, so... And I'm not very mobile right now, so I want to keep everything kind of close. Like this is still doing okay. Yeah, I just need more coal. Worried that I'm running low on turrets here. I'm also running low on ammo now because of this coal shortage. Maybe I should pause the science so I can just produce ammo. Do I ever do factories that feed ammo to turrets through belts, or can you get by just hand feeding? I do that... I definitely do that in more casual games. Uh, I haven't really done that in this kind of challenge. I've tried a few times. Um, I've done it for specific outposts, like on this one I could have put a belt just around this one. With a box to feed the belt. I haven't done that kind of thing. Uh, but not around the entire base in this kind of challenge. The one time I did, I just got overrun with biters because I... Essentially I had too much ammo tied up on the belt and not being useful. What's the problem there? Uh, so I died quite quickly because I couldn't keep up with the biters, essentially. But yeah, you definitely can get by with just hand feeding. And uh, some well-chosen uh, automation on the outposts. Uh, this should maybe be fine a while longer, maybe not. Well, I feel like I'm gonna need like 500 ammo to take at least this and this. And I would like to take this one out as well. So for that I think I want to go up to like six, 700 ammo. Welcome, Wobbert Games. However, yeah, I think I'm gonna pause the science and everything else actually. Or, let's see, uh, I will pause there. No, I'll pause there. And there. So that I can continue making turrets and ammo. 
Actually, the ammo is already getting half of it, so I... Not sure this is actually going to help make more ammo. Well, at least more of the more of the ammo will be going into the box instead of into the science. Maybe that's the bigger benefit there. Because I do need the upgrade, but I also do need the coal in order to get the upgrade in a timely fashion. I guess once these start backing up on iron, some more of the coal will be flowing into here. Maybe... Okay, that's gonna be a while. This one's full of coal, this one is far from full of coal. Okay, so I'm gonna need to fully back up on steel as well, first. So I don't think I want to build this without taking out all of these nests. Most important is going to be this one, because it's closest. And I think I can probably do that one with the ammo I have right now. The problem is it's right between these two. And yeah. So I think I can take these two out with the 500 ammo. Probably. Quite. Comfortably. Depending on how many worms are there. And how big the worms are for that matter. But I don't think I can take this one as well. And I would like to take all three of them in one sweep when I do. Speaking of combat, I should make an armor. That gives me at least four... no, twenty. Ah, okay. I thought it was forty. Alright, uh, time for a trash chest. Let's put it here. Suppose now while I wait I could set up some production of rails, stuff like that, because I am pretty sure I'm going to want that eventually. Because are, the distances here are quite large. And it's probably going to be a while before I get to robots. Okay, so I actually have all the steam engines I need right now. So we'll make some rail things down here. Let's see, fluid handling and this one that needs pipes, okay. So that's gonna need to be up there.
Oops. So this will be making iron sticks. And one hundred. Limit to one stack of stations. Uh, so yeah, it's sticks, steel, and stone. Yep, that's all. And the stations need. Iron plates, steel circuits, and yeah, okay. So both of those. And then the signals, I think, are just circuits and plates. Just circuits and plates, right? Uh, there. Just circuits and plates, yep. One stack of each. And this will make the wagons. Plate steel gear, yep. Now let's see how this is doing. 200. Okay. Let's go on a reinforcement round. And then maybe we can go ahead and, and take these out. This is going to hold for a while longer. Okay, that's... It's not great that the backup turret is uh, running out of ammo though. the coal is going, or copper is going into here as well. Can probably reduce that to 200. Okay, this, this is running low. This is not going to last for another attack, I don't think. That needs a bit of reinforcement.
Oh yeah, now they're destroying that. Fortunately, there are a few more turrets there that can take up... Pick up the slack. And I already need more ammo again. Story of my life. Yeah, pig biters are starting to be a problem. Okay, so let's get this started again. Actually, it's probably a bad idea to go out and try to take out a nest at this level of evolution without that upgrade. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Sort of coal, run on solid fuel, kill two prawns with one stone. Yeah, well, I could if only the re the research wasn't what like 600 science packs down, and also I don't have the things I need and all that. So yeah, and again, this will also need some defenses. So yes, but no. <laughs> I guess is the answer. Yes, in theory, but no, not really. I guess I could just make a shitload of yellow ammo. <laughs> Maybe. Problem with yellow ammo is that big biters don't care about yellow ammo. It's the big biters I need to kill right now. are also low on ingredients because they also need coal. Of course. Hmm. Well, let's say I can feed that fully. Then I have 38 labs working. This is taking 1 minute times 800. 800 minutes divided by 40. That's 20 minutes approximately. That's not too bad if these can run full speed. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, I need to go out here and reinforce this. That's probably gonna take like 10 to 20 minutes. So maybe by the time I get back uh, this science will be finished. If I'm lucky. I am running a bit low on science packs here though, so these probably won't be working full time. Or the whole time.
And let's disable all of this to save a bit of power. Oh, and this is going to need an disorder too. So yeah, again, it's a race against my iron supply, <laughs> or in this case, my coal supply. Can I get to that damage upgrade before I get overrun by the biters, the big biters? Because yeah, as you can see all around here, uh, the big biters are getting quite close to the turrets now. I don't really want to try to push into a nest under these conditions, because usually when I try to do that with only three damage upgrades, I, I end up dying, <laughs> quite simply. With four damage upgrades, though, it is a lot more manageable. Because this upgrade stacks twice on turrets. So actually, let me bring out my spreadsheet. I'm not going to show it on the stream, just because it's a hassle to get that to work. Uh, but let's see. Miscellaneous. There they are. Effective damage against big biters with red ammo is. Uh, which one is it? This one. Uh, with three damage upgrades, the effective damage per shot is 6.9. And with four damage upgrades, the effective damage per shot is 11.23. <laughs> with red ammo against big biters. So it's it almost doubles the damage that you do. Just that one upgrade. And that can sometimes make all the difference between dying and not dying. Reduces the number of bullets on medium and big ones too, yeah. Definitely does. Perhaps I brought a few more turrets though. Was that stat for yellow or red ammo? That for was for red ammo against big biters. Oh no, wait, maybe I read my spreadsheet wrong. No, I think I read it right. Yeah, okay. The unreduced damage for the unreduced damage for uh, red ammo at damage upgrade 3 is 15.68 and the unreduced damage with damage 4 is 20.48. But with the big biters minus 8 damage reduction, that turns out to be 6.91 and 11.23 respectively. 
So because the big biters have a damage reduction of almost half of the level 4 damage, the level 4 upgrade alone turns uh, works out to be almost a double the damage compared to level 3 against big biters. Yeah, in that com calculation I include the damage reduction for the biters. Put another pack of dirt in here. In case of breach. Wait, why are those damaged? I suppose a few miners uh, made it through at some point. shouldn't be balancing these quite like this actually. Should be trying to make use of all of them. So that this can continue working at a higher pace for a longer time. Well, a higher pace for a shorter time, rather than uh, reducing the output over time as it dwindles. So let's see how the ammo is doing. Okay, 400. Alright. Uh, the damage upgrade is not quite done yet, though. I find it really interesting how different thought processes and deductions have to be have to be on a run like this, yeah? Yeah, like I've said a few times, 
um, you know, the stream. It really does recontextualize a lot of the things you know and love in the game. In interesting ways, and I kind of like that. And you certainly are forced to learn all the tricks you can use to edit things remotely. <laughs> uh, this is a bit scary. Don't kill it. Ugh. Okay, I lost a hundred ammo in that turret. That was not particularly well played of me. But at least I didn't die. That's the most important part. Yeah, that was <laughs> that's very unfortunate to lose that 100 ammo. Because that is a lot more precious than the turret itself. The turret is 60 iron, 10 copper. The ammo is... Uh, 1,400 iron, 500 copper, grenades are really cost effective in a situation like this, yeah, problem is I can't throw them very far. And yeah, I really don't want to be close enough to the biters for grenades to be good. Yeah, I know it kills small ones with one grenade, but I don't think we're really seeing small ones anymore. Yeah, 2%. I guess some small spitters. Yeah, I find it usually more effective to just um, plop down a bunch of turrets and let those figure it out. These even biter bells? Yeah, I know. Um, the difference is in biter battles they can walk, <laughs> and I cannot. Grenades are a lot better when you can walk. They're still good for clearing trees, but not particularly good for combat when you can't move. Okay, 70%. So we went from, what, 50% when I went away to 70% now. Right, it is coming along definitely, but not, not very quickly. Yeah, as you could see there, as soon as the, the biters fall, the rest of the spitters are just very quickly cleaned up by the rest of the turrets. So the main issue is to be able to quickly kill the biters so that they stop tanking for the, the, the spitters. It would be a lot better for me if the tar or if the turrets could target the spitters first, because the spitters are the ones doing all the damage. Fortunately, the turret AI isn't that smart. I guess it would be a little overpowered if it was. I guess. Should I put walls on these now? Maybe.
We make a one tile hole in the back of the pillbox spiders try to pop there. Might get more turrets firing at the same time. Eh, maybe. But I think I already have all the turrets firing at all times anyway. Because as soon as the spiders close into range, they will they'll just be within range of all the turrets anyway. Okay, that's a good amount of turrets. I guess grenades are too expensive in coal. Well, r right now maybe, but usually not. Not that I think of, at least. <laughs> you really like to mess with biter pathing. Trees are really good at it, yeah. I suppose. Can these guys please move into the range of the turrets? Oh, okay, that's that's quite urgent. Because this still has that at least, but this side has nothing. Whoops. Well, there's this, which will soften them up a bit. And those, I guess, which will fall maybe? Maybe clean it up? Okay. Okay, just one medium minor remaining. Oh, it's this one, okay. Already back at it.
It's a bit funny that these labs are exposed, but they always go for the turrets instead. This falls. <laughs> I have the iron to spare now, so I can probably get all this running again. Oh, and now I have all the coal. Or copper, rather. Ah, oh, but I still don't have the coal. Right. Right. suppose there's anything I can do. That's 1600, so 25, that's 400. So, no, I can I could put some of these grains in to speed it up. Am I going to need them to clear trees here? Not really, I don't think. I can probably get through here. If I can just keep a few of these grenades, I should be fine. Like that, maybe. That at least speeds me up a little bit. Oh wait, this these make two. Ah, oh, yeah. So that's actually about half of what I needed to finish this science. So at about a third of full capacity, I guess it's going to take about an hour to finish that, I suppose. Uh, unless that number has changed now since I... I don't remember how much was r remaining when I made that computation. Or calculation or whatever. I think it was about half, maybe? Yeah, I think it was about half, so... Yeah, it should be about half an hour remaining then.
Another? Wow. Perhaps with this little bit of downtime I should continue designing this. So these are going to be solid fuel. Belt, take me back all the way to there. Meanwhile, we'll continue this. So, let's see. These are going to be s making out of solid fuel. These are going to make out of petroleum. So they can just be right there. Except not quite, because I need to have a valve on these. So there. And this will be there. Same thing here, I need a valve on those. Which I can't f cannot fit in there. Not quite. Hello, Cyclo. Welcome back. How are you doing? Well, thanks for the radar, of course. <laughs> is what I meant to say. Bombs away. Doing well, nice. Uh, how's it going today? It's uh, I am still alive indeed. <laughs> Silent storm. For now, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like I'm kind of stabilizing pretty well here. I'm producing some ammo and right now just waiting for this uh, damage upgrade to finish. Uh, these have used up all the grains I gave them, unfortunately. Uh, right now I am a bit short on coal. Um, so the power plants are happy, but the furnaces are a bit short. I guess we're about to fill up on coal here eventually, actually. 
but, but especially the coal furnace is short on coal. The copper furnace is short on coal. Uh, which means, among other things, that ammo production is a bit slow, and uh, well, science actually is doing okay now. But yeah, most of all, the grenades here are short on coal, which means these aren't running full speed, which means the science isn't running full speed. But quite, oh wow, that was quite an attack. Uh, but that means the, um, so we're going to have that fourth damage upgrade, which effectively doubles damage against big biters. So that should help quite a lot. And after that I'm going to go out and take this coal mine here so that I can fix that coal shortage. But I don't want to do that now because if I do I probably just will get myself killed. Uh, because we're seeing quite a lot of big biters now as you can see here. Well, well okay this these don't have any big biters, actually, but big spitters. Uh, is there any nest in vision? Not right now. Don't want to go this way. Uh, but yeah, we're, I think we're up to around... Well, some proportion of big biters, maybe like 20% or something like that. And uh, those really are bullet sponges. But again, with a damage upgrade that effectively doubles the damage against them, uh, we should be doing a lot better. And yeah, in the past when I've tried pushing into mid-game biter bases without damage upgrade 4, I have just gotten myself killed. Because the big biters just take so much damage before they die. And they end up overrunning me. So I don't want to go out and and push into biter bases before I get this damage upgrade. But once I do, I will go out and take that copper mine as soon as I can. How are we doing on turrets? 50, good. Might be time to bump that up to a hundred. Here the problem right now is that, again, big biters are taking a lot of damage to kill, and meanwhile the spitters are doing all the damage against these turrets. So the answer to spitters, as usual, is just DPS, which means just more turrets at this moment. Apart from that damage upgrade, of course. And walls now? Yep. Walls now. You kinda need walls when you start seeing big biters. Because they will make it all the way to the turrets, usually. And start eating them. Hello, Batach. Welcome back. These need more ammo. Kind of, yes, all of them. Should be okay for a while. What about these? These are also running a bit low on ammo. Let's continue working on this, I suppose. Oh yeah, I can do like this. That lets me fit 
Uh, almost. Oh yeah, that does let me fit a pump in here. I could also just move this up a bit, but whatever. Mm, this doesn't need to be there. This doesn't. Yeah, this probably does need to be there. And this actually goes just like that. Hmm. Well, that was a bit stupid of me. This this could have gotten me killed with a bit less luck. So let's see. This belt will take me there. Let's go ahead and reinforce these, and then go pick up this ammo. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I should also pick up these turrets and bump the limit up to 100. I'm also short on repair packs. Don't need more raiders right now. Do I need miners? No, I don't need more miners. Soon the damage upgrade will be done. And there will be much rejoicing. Actually, I'm not going to leave all that much ammo in that one because it's quite close and likely to be destroyed. Two percent though is what sixteen thirty two packs. That should be about as much as is buffered in the labs. So any minute now.
Oops. Gonna sit here for a while. And just... Hmm. Watch the base fall to pieces, I suppose. Yeah, these should be able to hold for a while longer. This isn't putting out all that much pollution right now, because I'm not actually consuming all the iron. Anyway, let's continue making this. Uh, let's see. This should have a pump, something like that, to enable heavy cracking. And then this should have a pump like that to enable light cracking. And then this up here needs a pump somewhere. Let's say no, that doesn't work. It might actually be nice to keep it close to the other pumps, but I don't think I can do that really. Let's just put it there, and that pump will enable um, solid fuel into... no, petroleum gas into solid fuel. There, finally. We can also get some shooting speed. It's gonna take a long time though. I wanna get started on logistics too. So that I can make red belts. Maybe that or finish fluid handling. Or heavy armor. Yeah, let's get heavy armor now that I'm going out to get myself killed. Uh, that's gonna take 50 steel plates. Let's grab those. And 100 copper. Now I only need a power pole to make that armor once it's done. Still think I need a bit more ammo to go out and take out the, those nests. Yeah, especially now that I need to reinforce this. But yeah, this should drastically reduce the ammo consumption of all these defensive positions. Done, let's finish fluid handling. So that gives me 40% acid resistance. So that gives me a bit of leeway in case I goof and walk into slime or something, or well, belt myself into slime, rather. Wow, that was quick. Now let's get the red belts. That also gives the military science a bit of time to catch up. Oh, 
Whoops. So yeah, I think I want about 500 ammo at least to take these two out. If I'm also going to take this one out in the same go, probably want closer to 700. And also if I'm going to reinforce this, that's going to be even more. Maybe I just need to go. I can knock these two out, take the coal. And then just set up some defenses here, maybe. Now let's see the upgraded ammo in action. One shot fired. These are also just spitters now. Yeah, now they're gone. <laughs> There you go. Now we're having much less trouble with the big miners. Whoops. Right, these need to be reinforced. Also, don't really need all these purples anymore. So that means I can move this in slightly.
On the bright side here, though, I have quite a lot of iron, so I probably should be able to build a red belt factory without any problems here. see where we put this belt factor. No, wait, that's a uh, base backup. I don't need that one anymore because it's outdated. Where did I put that? Did I put any anywhere? Oh, looks like I didn't save that one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I had a blueprint for, for a belt factory, but it seems like I lost it. By the way, I haven't imported any blueprints into this game. Uh, all the ones I've been using I haven't made throughout the course of this game. Okay, so let's do that now instead then. Should be good space. And as I mentioned last time, this is a design that I really like. Uh, I stole it from Catherine of Sky a few years ago. Uh, I think she in turn stole it from someone else as well. I don't know who. Um, so these assemblers here are just going to be making gears and we'll have the belt assembly over here. I also really like the very neat symmetry in this design. that. Uh, these can... No, oh, let's make those blue. that and then we need what else do we need yeah we need plates for those we also need some circuits in here for these guys if 
I think that's all. And then lastly, we need power poles. Should be all I need, I think. So where do we put that? Up here is a good is a pretty good space that I'm not using for anything else. And it's also close to one of the iron li lines, so that's good. On the other hand, it's a bit awkward to reach this to get there to actually retrieve the belts. That's not going to be a problem as soon as I get robots, but until then it's going to be a problem. So what else? Uh, there's a bit of space here. That could work, I suppose. It's also a bit off compared to the rest of the uh, mall kind of area. But it's really all I can do without having to move a bunch of turrets around. So yeah, let's place it here, I suppose. I will need to figure out how to get some circuits in here as well. On the other hand, I need this primarily for red belts right now, not so much for the red splitters and the inserters. And I suppose for that, or to that end, I could just make it here instead. That's actually a lot easier for the time being. Let's just make them here instead. So it's going to be those two and those two, right? Only that one. this there and yeah that's all okay that's gonna need some attention There was something else I wanted to make out of pipes here, actually, I think. Oh, yeah. That was... Yeah, fluid wagons. So I'll put those there. Limit 200. So that means this should also move a bit to make space for that. Uh, fluid of Agma Summoner. Because that is going to need tanks from here. Going to need uh, pipes and steel and gears, I believe. I think that is all. Steel gear, tank pipe, yeah. 
And I think this was tank. Yeah, this is tank. Right, I finished fluid handling. That means I should set some recipes here. Let's see what these were. We all have the same components, right? No, okay, this pumps. So this is... Oh yeah, I haven't set anything up for... Okay, there they are. No, that... Wait, that's... Oh, I'm confused. These are trains and pumps and flamethrowers, right. So the only one I have right now is pumps. working. Let's make sure I have a limit on this. I do. Can't I just paste the blueprint at the recipe? I can. Uh, which is what I did. This is working much better now with the better ammo. Or with the <coughs> better upgrades, I guess. Let's see if I can dump some of this stone. Yes, okay. probably gonna fall on the next attack. And this too. like that. So there was one attempt a while ago, or somewhat recently, like a month ago, where I had trains at like 10 hours into the game. And this time I'm now currently at about 15 hours. So I'm not sure how I pulled that off that time. <laughs> I think I just had an iron outpost very close by. 
that didn't really take any effort whatsoever to, to go take. I think that was <laughs> the thing that happened that time. Unfortunately, that meant that I didn't really have to worry too much about damage upgrades to increase my iron input, which meant that once I did have to worry about the uh, damage upgrades, I had been a bit too overconfident for a while, so I ended up just pushing into a biter nest and dying because I didn't have enough upgrades. Which was a bit unfortunate because it, it was a very, very good map apart from that. Well, it was a very, 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 very good map. It just I just goofed and died. So I'm feeling now like I probably won't beat my previous uh, my previous record of reaching robots at around 21 hours. I think it's probably going to take a bit longer this time because I need to set up oil processing and all that before I can get to robots. On the other hand, maybe it goes faster than I expect. I don't know.
running really low on ammo here. Do I have more in the base? Eh, a bit. Fortunately, this is the kind of consumption that happens in bursts. I mean, me refilling these with ammo. Logistics 2, okay. Continue towards oil or start making rails. I think start making rails. The other alternative is to not research anything and just focus on ammo. this much ammo, if I get jumped on the way back, I'm probably just gonna die. It's the problem. So yeah, five ammo clips is not gonna be enough to kill everything in that case. I think I can steal some ammo from one of the northern turrets because those are not really seeing a lot of pressure. As evidenced by their total like 50 kills lifetime total or something. Also left quite a lot in these. Okay, well then I should have at least be able to survive a surprise attack. At least so I hope. I do have a couple of grenades as well. I don't think they would help much. But still. Okay, 300. It's not nothing, at least. So, let's see, that was red belts that I finished. Means I can set the recipe, but that was uh, one of these. Do I dare do it now? Let's actually take a look at the evolution when I pass by here. Let's see. Sixty percent. Nineteen percent big spitters and 20% big biters. Okay. So that damage upgrade will help for a while. It's not going to last forever though. I am going to need to transition into flamethrowers quite soon. But yeah, this distance here really is asking for trains.
<laughs> this is just two spawners. I could quite easily go kill that. There's some more iron. It's good. Very far away though. And it's also smaller than this one, so... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this one first. Between the two. Okay, now, red belt, give a thank you. This is so nice. It does take a bit more effort to move like this. But it is so much faster. Whoops, and sometimes you mess up. Speedy Gonzalez, yeah. Zoom. It does make me twice as fast, so yeah. It's definitely nothing to sneeze at. I have 500 ammo. I need to reinforce some turret boxes around the base. So let's do that first of all.
and as usual the uh, five step forward, four steps backward kind of thing with the ammo. I had 500, now I have 300 again. More ammo to have a hundred. Okay, rail we finished. Nice. I don't think I'm gonna get the stations yet. Because I don't really need them. Should continue towards oil. But now I can set the recipe on the rail maker. Let's make sure these have sensible limits. Yes, okay. Item ingredient shortage. Oh, oops. I thought it started making sticks. Maybe I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> There we go. for the weary.
Imagine being that spitter. Your nest has worked so hard for so long and spent so many lives on taking down these turrets. And just as you draw your last breath after having finally felled a few more of the turrets, you see the engineer rolling up and just replacing all of them. Sorry, big spitter. So I will run out of iron again. <laughs> I guess so. Well, they are, in fairness, the main reason I haven't exploited all this, co this continent just yet. So I will give them that. Oh, wow, I don't have any grenades here. Is this on a chunk border? Or is there just no coal at all here? Oh, this is stuck, okay. Wonder if the biters have a support group. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? The problem is the ones that are Well, the ones that would be traumatized, or mo most likely to be traumatized by the engineer, are the ones that are most likely to be dead as well. It's the problem, I suppose. Now is there anything else I can do while I wait for this ammo to come along? Not sure, I guess I can continue working on the uh, oil processing. Although there's not much more to do here, I don't think. At least the major points of this are done. I guess I can squeeze in a few power poles. Oh yeah, I need power poles for these as well. I need a few purples to wire up these pumps to the tanks.
Wait, is that too far away? And oh, that is too far away. That should do that. Let's see. These do not have a pass over here. Please cover all of that, that's okay. Wait. This is petrol oh yeah, okay. That's solid fuel out of petroleum. That's solid fuel out of petroleum, that's not correct. That is incorrect. Uh, this needs to be from here. Oh, big pole. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I guess it's fine. So that is light oil into solid fuel. This is light oil into petroleum. Yeah, okay. That's that's more correct. Maybe I can squeeze the tanks in a bit more compactly later. I'll worry about that later. I guess I can place that tank on this side as well. This is coming along 500. I think that's enough to go take these on. I have plenty of belts, I have plenty of miners, I have plenty of turrets, I have power poles. Okay, let's go. I'll pick up a few more red belts on the way as well. Yeah, and I guess I should also prepare a belt for this coal to feed into as well. So I can get it running as soon as I get there. So let's see, and we have coal there right now. So I might have to reverse this whole thing, either that or I just run the belt up this way and around and in here. It's probably easier. So easiest is probably to feed it through here. I can get rid of that. Oil processing done, perfect. Let's continue towards flamethrowers and let's set some recipes here. Um, all of these, I think. No, just those.
Oh, this was tank. I think these all have limits. So I go through there. I reverse this belt, maybe. Not right now, though. I'll do that later when I get there. Or when I actually have coal to replace the belt I currently am using. Right, I'll go set that up. Should maybe also have... Yeah, maybe also continue that all the way down here. Yeah, outside is fine, probably. Yeah, outside is fine. Can reach this. Not quite. Can I reach it from there? No. Okay.
I should have gotten more ammo while I was over there. Should go back and do that, I suppose. Let's see. Yeah, there's 200. See, these are all producing nice. Don't need more than 20 of these, I don't think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can use more than 10 camp plants though. Um, to be more precise, about 40. So, this one goes there, and I go here. And I forgot to run the belt with me. I'm gonna have to go back and do that. Just enough red belts.
so we're on here. Uh, let's see here, I can make it through down here quite comfortably. With one, two belts. Three belts, yeah, okay. Can even leave a space between the coal belts and the walkway belt. So we'll start with one belt that feeds into here. So from here, it's time to go and focus on the nests. So straight down from here. Trying to flank me. Excuse me. a medium worm. Fortunately it's now a dead medium worm. Oh that's a tree. Okay 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 okay. I lost one turret, lost a few rounds of ammo probably, but not a lot I think. Okay, this one is good. Something is getting wrecked. This is getting wrecked. This is getting wrecked. It's gonna have to be okay for the moment. I still have about 500 ammo. Should be fine to take out one more nest, I think. Unless there's a lot of worms here. Small, 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 small. 
Small, small. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be okay. Oh, I'm glad I didn't hit that rock with a belt. That would have been very awkward. Since I don't allow myself to mine it. And it takes like 20 or something grenades to take one out. Without the bigger worms, this is quite manageable, I think. I say that as I'm about to lose a turret. Two percent Evo. Okay. Still about 500 ammo. Can I leave this for a while longer? I cannot. I'm gonna have to go back. Maybe I should go here and refill this. Good night, Warbird Games. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you. Thank you for the good luck. Everything is getting wrecked. The problem with the red belts is that you're not actually moving faster if you keep messing up like this. finished. That is two words that make me very relieved. Not that I actually have oil yet, but I can have oil quite soon.
the noise from these miners for a moment sounded to me like uh, the noise of enemies approaching. <laughs> Gave me quite the scare. Could, if I had enough belt, could do what? Faster. Yeah, even if I screw to pick it up, yeah. Yeah, if I can just leave the belts behind, then that def of course, yeah, that does make me faster. But uh, that also is a very expensive thing to do. So at least not yet, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Whoops. Now they're eating the flower plant. Okay, but well that's gonna clean them up. Okay. I'm glad I put those back up towards there. I think I do have spare power plant parts. Yeah, I do have spare pl power plant parts. Power plant parts. So <laughs> surprisingly difficult phrase to say. Uh, I do have spares in the, the mall, so it wouldn't be a disaster if it got destroyed, but still.
dump. This works. Okay, that is completely obliterated. Oh, this has been destroyed. That's a problem. At least we have the old power plant still around, able to pick up the slack. Well, maybe not pick up all the... Oh, it, okay, it does pick up all the, all the slack, actually. The good thing about these kinds of tier defenses with uh, a few backup turrets and stuff spread out like this is that one of them can fall without everything crumbling into pieces. Like if you have only one layer of defense then you know, as soon as they're through that level layer of defense then you're just kind of screwed. Well if you have a few layers like this then you can lose one of them without having to lose more than just that one layer of defense. which sometimes makes all the difference. Don't really have enough ammo to re reinforce this right now. Reinforcing. Let's start making flamethrowers. This is comic to watch, but I'd be extremely frustrated frustrated if I had to do it myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I guess the reason I'm streaming this is to share this so that you don't have to do it, in a way. That's one reason, at least. Especially if getting there takes like five minutes, yeah. It's about multiple layers of defense, yeah, I suppose. All right, I need to fix that. Uh, I forgot. I have the parts I need, I think, yeah. Oops, didn't mean to pick those up. And yeah, this should hold for a few more minutes at least. Enough time to fix this.
I might actually not even need to fully build this out until I have robots. I guess we'll see. Okay, this one needs some more ammo as well. Oh. Oops. <laughs> that one's taking a beating. We have seven flamethrowers. We have 50 tanks. We have lots of pipes. I'm gonna need more pipes. Probably. Oh, oops, I never built that. Yeah, about this being relaxing to watch, I guess it's a bit, it's a little uh, ironic in a way, how uh, the Death World Marathon, uh, a Death World Marathon game like this, is actually surprisingly twa tranquil in a way. Because I can't move around very quickly, which means I just have to kind of take it easy. Even as everything is burning around me. Uh, these are okay. I think I 
damage to these with my grenade. Okay, that clears a bit of space. Right, uh, if I'm actually going to ride trains, I'm gonna need a locomotive. I think this one was supposed to be wagons. And I don't yet have the recipes for stations or anything else, yeah. Huh. Ah, I see. Well, flame the returns, and let's also pick up some pump jacks. Let's disable that because I don't need more right now. It's There's the trash chest. Some garbage in here as well. And yeah, let's take the tanks. Maybe not all of them, but many of them at least. And let's get a few more. All right. Yeah, I have a few stored up. Let's take those and see if there's more ammo. There's more ammo. That ammo is going to fill my inventory as well, actually. Can leave a few walls. Alright, let's top off on grenades as well. Force this a bit and then go out and take that call. Uh, what happened? Uh.
Was that too, I suppose? Flamethrower is coming soon, yep. Hopefully. Well, I have them already, but I just need to set them up. again to go for that coal. So about that oil and flamethrower thingy. Let's prepare some tanks over here where I can store the oil. Here should be good. I'll just move this out. I'm actually not sure I want the inner wall because I think it's only getting splashed by the spitters. some tanks in here. I never re reinforced that after I went there and just um, did the bare minimum. Uh.
I wonder, can I flame turret creep on foot? I don't think that seems reasonable. Because there are so many more moving parts than just uh, popping ammo into the turret. Seems much more safe to do remotely with the robots. Anything else I want to research while I wait for this ammo? Not really, I don't think. I wonder, could I weave the engines in on this side instead, maybe? On foot, I say, yes, as if I have feet. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I mean, I hope. <laughs> They're all flat from... Just standing on them and never lifting them, yeah. Hello, Jbrex. Happy holidays to you too. So how many more flamethrowers do I have here? Eleven. It's quite a few. So 400, 400 ammo is not quite enough for comfort to take one of those bases. But I think while I wait for that... Actually, it's cold probably is far enough away from that that I can claim it and set up some basic defenses, and then I can go here and set up um, oil extraction and flamethrowers. I have pump jacks, I have tanks, I have all the things. should drop this yellow ammo somewhere. Should also drop these bricks. I should grab a few pumps. going to drop yellow ammo, that's what I came here for.
I hear actually? Oh. Let's redo this a little bit. Okay. Some work defenses. Uh, let's plan this out. And wonk. Should do. So then, I'm gonna want to make use flamethrowers quite soon. So flamethrower, and then five. That's where I want the wall. Pretty wide, I suppose. <laughs> Wait, I need a walkways in between as well. Oh, no, maybe I don't actually. Because I can just. 
with the walkways in in between the flamethrowers and the wall. Well, that does cover the entire corner, cool. Didn't expect, actually expect it to do that. Some turrets as a backup. These, yeah, these do cover the entire wall. Cool. These also do, yeah. But I think I want one in between there for safety. At least spitters will have to get close, yep. Uh, yeah, these, uh, this space in between the wall and uh, the flamethrower is uh, actually outranges spitters. So they shouldn't, shouldn't be able to snipe these, is the idea. Without breaching the wall, that is. Speaking of which, I should add an inner layer here as well. I'm not going to actually build all of this right now, I don't think, but at least to have it all planned out for when I can build it all. This is probably way over overkill for this base because this is not actually going to put out all that much pollution. Or maybe it is actually, because yeah, right now. Uh, yeah, right now I am actually going to use all of this coal, probably. Uh, I think. Okay, that's two belts, so half of this. Mm, so, as for current technology level defenses.
Come on, a few more. There, that should do. I hope I have enough ammo to to actually provide this with a bit of starter ammo. This was six, ten flamethrowers. Oh, I only have twelve. <laughs> so I'm going to save those for the oil outpost. These are kind of close. ammo to get this working. And definitely not not enough ammo to also go take the oil in the same go, unfortunately, unless I pick up some ammo from here. Which I maybe can do. So yeah, this is going to be just short of two belts. These are 
Just short of one belt. That's great. That means the rest is also going to be just short of two belts, or one belt rather. Thought I was out of belts there for a moment. get this started. Those turrets are gonna fall, but that's okay. There are other turrets to cover the rest.
Pollution! You can have pollution. reason this feels a lot easier to do east-west than uh, north-south. First contact. All right, five hundred five hundred ammo was about the amount I was hoping for there. This is still fine. This is not quite fine. But this has fallen, so let's go there first. because I need the ammo. Let's see how there more flames are now. 37. Marvelous. Get a hundred limit. Call arriving. Yeah, nice. 
Very nice. So that should alleviate this. Uh, however, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is about 25 megawatts. And that's about 10. Okay, so I'm currently about 5 megawatts short in terms of coal volume <laughs> in order to power all of this. But I don't think I actually need to power all of it at once. So hopefully that should ease things out a bit here. Okay, so now it's getting up there. And now it's coming back down. Right, that was not quite fine, so let's go there as well. Time to get some power back into base. Yep. Can you even afford to power all of the smelting all time pollution wise? Maybe not actually. That reminds me though, uh, I should make these. The uh, upgraded furnaces. Because those actually uh, halve the coal uh, consumption of the, of the furnaces and also reduce the pollution by half. I don't think I prepared a space in the mall for them. Let's see if there is one. Not really, but let's see, they need stone and steel, so I could put them here. That's fine. I like that shape. That looks cool. Grab those. Don't think anything is, needs urgent attention here. 
So now with that ammo, let's go out and try to take that oil, finally. Okay, let's get more shooting speed. It's quite ugly here to build on the walkway. But maybe that's okay. See how many do I want to upgrade here? Uh, that's 24 and that's 120. So just over two stacks. Oh, now I can dump the stone bricks. Nice. Why do I mark unused assemblers for deconstruction? So that they don't consume power. Quite simply. No more to it than that. Uh, okay, so now let's go do the oil. Frugal, yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't cost anything to do it, so might as well do it at the times when I don't have any anything better to do. And I'm also sometimes, or particularly through the early game, I have often been disabling uh, assemblers in order or more usually they're inserters actually, in order to save resources. Uh, just to disable the inserters in order to disable the production of that particular item. Like disabling production of, say, fast inserters for example, when I didn't really need them. Things like that. <coughs> so that I can focus those resources into other things. Most usually ammo. <laughs> I didn't pick up the flamethrowers. That was bad. But I'm not going back for them now.
So since these are the turrets that are falling first, I'm going to set up this wall here. Or am I? I was going to say I'm going to set up a flamethrower there. But I'm not so sure I am. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe this wall falls before I... Well, probably this wall falls before I actually turn on the oil. But if that happens, it happens. said they don't have any oil in them so that's no wait I don't actually want to place these only the pipes
close to losing that turret with a lot of ammo in it. That would end your run. <laughs> yeah, you need to be aware. That one again. That one is still kind of standing. And this is kind of falling apart. This should have plenty of copper again. So yeah, we have another 500 ammo there. Good. Swedish for oh no. So you know what? I'm a <coughs> I'm actually going to go back and fix that. But I'm not going to go back by belt. They run, just run out of ammo, yep. That's what happened. And yes, it is time to uh, refill them with ammo. So, it is time. See how I let's check which side on the train do I exit and enter on? Okay, uh, left hand side. So
And I think we'll pull it in on the south here. Yeah, that works. Can I have a station in here? Something like that will do, I think. For starters. <laughs> you have no idea how I, would, how I would stay alert for eight hours at a time like that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. It's just... thing I do, I guess. Oh. Well, fortunately, these are still covered by turrets, so it should be fine. Rotate it while I'm in it. That's good. So, here we go. And take note, I'm not driving, I am riding an automated train. <laughs> A bit awkward, but it works. I need to escape if there are biters coming. those didn't come from me. I guess this kind of makes the limitation about not driving trains a bit arbitrary. <laughs> but whatever. It is what I had decided for myself, so... 
Green we are. Way faster than belt, yep. Let's hope that these turrets up here can clean it up. Not quite. Right, here we are. Let's deal with that little infestation. something. Looks like that was all. Okay, they eventually died here. First of all, we need to plug the hole over here. Oh. Okay, too late to plug the hole. That's all, I think. It's still here, no? It's here, okay.
Okay, the hole is plugged, at least. Pumps, no, okay. Never mind that, actually. My low on copper now, maybe. Not quite yet. there as well. well. At least we have it handled. Everything is running slow now because of the power outage. But coal now means I'm polluting way more? Yeah, I guess so.
Oh. Okay, how much are they wrecking? Okay, that's not too bad. Now this is back in order. Okay, okay, okay. And we don't have a lot of ammo. That's a bit terrifying. I guess I do need these actually. Just to have these steam engines connected.
Okay, there's a bit more. Okay, with that I can at least shore these up a bit, I think. Oh, they got the flamethrowers. Now I have 72. And I'm stuck. And this is broken. already? Cool. I will take that. South power is no water, that is correct. But please don't point out mistakes like that to me. I want to find them on my own. Red green sign belts and lamps broken. Uh, yeah, it is. And please don't point out mistakes like that. I want to find them on my own. This is so much nicer. get there anytime soon really. Or am I? No, I'm not. Okay, they're gonna get themselves killed. Good. That leaves me a bit of time to fix this and then go there. Everything is on fire.
I appreciate you doing that though, Leo. That is the last of my ammo. Huh. Looks like they've also broken a power pole here. Yeah, both the power pole and the race laser. No, not the laser, the radar. I guess the radar is a laser anyway, not quite, but yeah. Both are electromagnetic uh, radiation emitters. like that is still connected actually. Let's go back to base and pick up more ammo. Didn't last long. <laughs> oh, put me out on the belt, cool. Must be like light spin now, yep. That can hold up for a few more minutes. Nice, more shooting speed. Let's get some more of that. Do I take this nest out before I kill this? No, I don't, because I need the ammo to defend the oil. And this, for that matter.
case in point. fix this not right away oh mother <sighs> so if they attack there again then they're gonna cripple everything so I'm gonna have to go back again for driving toggle driving There are those turrets there. Oh, they actually did better than I hoped. Oh, get myself out of the slime.
Okay, so now before I leave, let's design some things around here. Most importantly, the defenses for this. But also the piping, of course. Now let's take some of this. If anything remains, it doesn't. squeeze this in there I can see right now. Yeah, it'll be something like that on the other side too. And here I probably will set up the uh, flame thro throws right away. As soon as I get there. This way, I thought I was going going to go up this way, so I made at least one whole loop around the base while I was in map view. That's not ideal. That could have gotten me killed if I had been unlucky. All right, I still I <clears throat> I need to replace the radar up there. Just as I left. It's probably more important. Yeah, it's definitely more important.
Can you just let me get to the oil so that I can set up flamethrowers, please? did me in right there. If I didn't have the armor, maybe I would have died there actually. I wasn't expecting them to ac actually aggro on me. Maybe I just need to lose this. Maybe it's okay to lose this for a while. So then I can focus on the oil. And once I have that, things will hopefully get a lot easier. Am I prohibited to shoot by just two? No. I don't really have much use of a handheld weapon. Um, both because I can only hold, only hold one, and one isn't gonna do nearly enough. And two because uh, turrets get a much better damage upgrade than handheld weapons do. Because the damage upgrade applies to both the turret itself and to the ammo. And those two actually stack by multiplication. So that's quite a lot more powerful than uh, an assault rifle, for, for example. I could perhaps use uh, rocket launchers to outrange things, but the uh, the big worms actually outrange even the rocket launchers, so they're not even that useful for that. Maybe I should just have continue the train track here, but oh well. going to do this. I need to set up some defenses before I do this, I think.
Oh, and I didn't bring any plow either. This one, that's okay. I'm, I am prepared to lose that. There you are going to aggro here. Yep. Okay. It went fine. They took out one turret, yeah. And a few pipes. Oh, and I should also get this out on the back to base line. dangerous expedition yet. <laughs> Trying to sneak all this in under the biter's noses like this. Defense up and running.
Ooh, okay. That is the most critical two corners of this. The rest should be comparatively easy from here. Let's see back in the maze if we have any oil here. Uh, we do not. We have oil there. We do not have oil there. Okay, so not something is broken there. We figure it out eventually. Um, wall with full flamethrower coverage. Should actually get that not quite evenly spaced. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay. It's extremely precarious, yep. And there do they come. And there they die. Perfect. Just as planned. So now I just need to extend the walls further. Uh, so that the uh, gun turrets don't fire unnecessarily. Big milestone indeed. Well, I don't really have enough walls to do this, probably. Can get at least one... Ah, uh, not the tree. Can get at least one layer off the walls. I think, maybe. I think, yeah. Whoops, bit of a forest fight.
Okay. Place those, okay. So I have at least one turret in each corner. Now they're eating the entire coal outpost. But like I said, I, I was prepared to lose that. Okay. Now I need to get back to the base and deal with this. Okay, so... Okay, that does actually work. Whoop. Whew. Can't wait till the walls of flamers go up. Oh! I can go to bed knowing it's safe. Okay. I saw the first half of that message, message and uh, expected you to say something like, I can't wait till the walls of flamers go up and you get yourself caught in the fire and die. <laughs> I guess I'm glad that's. That wasn't the case. Alright, uh, this is mostly fine. Is this doing okay? That's doing okay. Good. Hmm. <laughs> I love how they very neatly destroyed only the tower or the... Uh, Furnaces that I'm going to upgrade. It's very nice of them to help me get rid of those um, useless stone furnaces.
was, since was cold coming in there. Furnaces didn't spark joy anymore. <laughs> yeah. I plan for those furnaces to be eaten first. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now let's see if I can survive long enough to make use of these flamethrowers. Oh yeah, I need to figure out what's wrong with the pipeline. Forced again. And I didn't place a radar there, but that's fine. For now at least. Looks like that actually got handled somehow. Oh, it looks like they just lost interest. Ah, stop eating my base. Definitely need to get lame throws up around here, all around the base. These red belts certainly are helping.
There they go. Okay, that is quite bad. sure how this is gonna go. Well, not sure at all. I might be able to stabilize from here. We'll see. It's probably all going to be dependent on whether I can get some flamethrowers up around critical infrastructure. This is just decaying. And they're just destroying everything here. Okay, mostly the walls and turrets though. Now they're going to break through here. What is the bottleneck here right now? It's copper. Let's see if I die. <laughs> I just might die. themselves killed. So now I just need to make sure that there doesn't come another attack from up here. And then I can set up flamethrowers and from there maybe I can be fine.
not feeling great, but I'm also not feeling completely dead. Although if I don't get this iron line started again, I'm not going to have any more iron. And which means no more ammo, is what I meant to say. So, okay. First of all, I guess this running again. Looks like that is all still there. This though. Definitely isn't quite as much here anymore. Is that going... Okay, it is going good. this work again? Something like this. Shooting speed done. I don't think I want to continue anything else right now. Uh, 
Oh, these are all missing. Okay, three belts of iron restored. Is still standing. I'm relieved to see that. This has a bit of more ammo. Maybe I should go fetch that. This is gonna fall any minute now. This is also gonna fall any minute. If I lose this iron mine again, I don't think I'm going to recover from that. Let's see, I have oil here. Yeah, I have oil, oil here. Good. Good. Um, okay, they made it through one layer of the wall. Not good. Here's a broken pipe, at least. This direction. This is very sketchy, but it's still the best I can do on, uh, on a time crunch like this. around a bit to make room for the oil pipeline.
Okay, I might think we might be kind of fine-ish here. Uh, iron is getting all the way there, good. Ammo is being produced. Oil is not getting all the way there. How's this doing? Okay. Do I have a turret? Okay, they died. Good. Okay, that did not kill me. Good. Okay, I guess I actually didn't build a second layer of the wall here. Okay, that's a bit more comforting then. <laughs> that was close. Not quite close enough that the armor saved me, I think, but definitely very close. This is way too close for your comfort. <laughs> Imagine what it's like for me then. So, uh, I need to place a few more of these pump jacks. To make sure I can feed all these flamethrowers. we go again. Oh, oops. Uh, so... There and there, no?
Should research gates so I can put gates for the trains. All oh right, I'm all out of coal as well. So I'm gonna need to fix that too. Well, this is exciting at least. And I forgot to look for the break in the pipeline. Not critical because there are still those other turrets on on the north side there. Right, I have no coal anymore. Yeesh. Okay, but I also don't have any demand. Okay. Where did I go? Oh.
Okay, uh, now I just need to reclaim the coal base somehow. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah, okay, now I actually have quite a good amount of ammo in my pocket, and there's still a bit, a bit more ammo there. Okay, quite a lot of ammo there actually. So, it's starting to feel like I can recover from this. Just need to make sure not to die in the near future. Evolution, are they at? Don't really know at the moment. But last time I checked it I think it was 62 percent. That was maybe like an hour ago. as well. Why am I low on walls? Uh, this is not a belt. Okay, that's why. Okay. Might have a moment of respite here. Hmm. This has been intense. <laughs> Just running back and forth between all of these turret boxes. So let's go. Do I need to? I don't think I need to attend this right now, actually. Thanks to the flamethrowers.
oil, 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 oil. Okay, no, I think there's the problem. Actually, let's not go here. Let's go here. Figure out the issue with the oil pipeline. Uh, there's the problem. There we go. Okay, so now we have oil in here. We have no oil in here actually because this pump is taking everything. Still connected, cool. This is not connected to oil. Wait. Wasn't this connected? It is, but... I guess all the oil is going somewhere else, no? Something's broken here. This is broken.
This is dangerous. If I get jumped here, that's no good. Oh. So what's going wrong here then? That and that. Well, I guess it's just not being consumed. Yeah, okay. Looks like the rest is in order. Walking must be an experience, <laughs> in a way, yeah. Okay, so now we have oil here. Good.
Okay, that's one. I left the one built out there. Side of not producing anything is that you're not producing any pollution. much complete. Now just add flamethrowers and we should be good to go. Finished. Nice. All right. I also need to add a couple of backup turrets around the, this one as well. These. Not right there, maybe. there was actually a bit of a gap in there.
we have coal again. Which also means we have pollution again. Am I allowed to use bots? Yes, but I don't have them yet. Five, five, five. Nice. But yes, certainly as soon as I get robots, I will do pretty much everything remotely using robots. But it takes a while to get there. So robots are going to help a lot with keeping these walls repaired once I get them. Uh, but yeah, right now I don't have them. So I don't have that luxury. I just have to keep this maintained manually, I suppose. A few more things in here I need to fix. I think we're done here fixing this. How far from bots? Um, a couple of technologies. Like quite a few actually. It's this and this and this and this. So quite far down. Uh, let's see how well this is going to hold up against these. Thinking it should do pretty well. So now let's go back to the base and make use of this shiny new oil we have here. It's probably also time to build some kind of loop around. Do I have a radar here? Yeah. Okay. That's not good. Let's run over them with the train. <laughs> Probably, no, oh, okay, they moved. Too bad. Let's hope they don't kill me. Okay, we're fine. Flamethrower is not though.
Okay, this is holding up much better now with the flamethrowers. One thousand ammo, yes. Did I break the pipeline again? Five, three, two, two, one. Yeah, this is broken. Fix that first of all. Do we lose all flamethrowers if one is destroyed? Well, in some places, yes. Because I have uh, connected the pipes in series. Uh, not everywhere, though. I. Th I'll at least try to make sure that the oil pipeline to the base is connected in parallel uh, with the flamethrowers. <coughs> with the flamethrowers. So that, for example, even if this falls, then the pipeline will still be there. Let's see if this. Yeah, okay, now we're getting oil there. Good. Put them all on the side of the main pipe, uh, mostly to save space. Because uh, everything here inside of the walls is should be out of range for spitters anyway. So if they get Within the walls, I have these backup turrets here. Uh, but at that point, I am going to need to come here to fix things anyway. Is essentially the uh, gist of it. Okay, are they all connected now? Looks like they are. Cool. Good. time I need to go fix that because now I'm going to set up flamethrowers there.
One piece of all, that's okay. Feels like I have been able to stabilize her. And in the end... I should set these turrets up before I say anything. <laughs> So now, flame throwers. Okay, I did have one in the library. as well. Like here. Leave a bit of splash space. some reason I was surprised they ran through this wall. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't really be surprised about that.
They put flamethrowers here, they're gonna burn this entire forest. I don't think I want that. Let's just move this forward a bit, I think. Some of them, like there, where they won't reach the trees. Gives me a bit of more space there. So now let's see. I think I'm gonna run the pipeline through here, probably. Actually, only connects here. So let's push this turret box out to there. Cut 
cover that. So that seals off this off. I don't really need to worry about these turrets anymore. Well, I still will put a small bit of ammo in them, just in case I ever need them. go. And they are powered with oil. Finally. So now to do the same thing on the north. For that I need to bring the oil with me. Should probably uh, pull all of these from the same pipeline so I can easily upgrade it to light oil. Yeah, I'll do that. Again. 
Okay. Took a while to chew through all of this. This will cause forest fires, but that will have to be okay, I think. This is a bit reckless though, because I don't currently have the walls I need to actually have only the flamethrowers here.
Right, we have we officially have flamethrower defenses on the north. And with that, most of the base is now protected with flamethrowers. Notable exception is the power plant. Well, that can be fixed soon enough. However, I think that marks a pretty good time to end this session. Uh, I had I've been looking for uh, a good time to cut it for a while now. Uh, I've been at it for 10 straight hours. My stomach has been growling for a few hours already. Uh, but there we go. Uh, we have flamethrower defenses. Uh, that doesn't mean the game is won yet. I certainly can still lose this. Because the walls will break at some point. But this at least means I won't need to do nearly as much running around with ammo all the time. Yeah, you can see this. They're already chewing through some of this. It's going to be a while before they breach. But they will breach eventually. So I won't be completely safe until I have robots. Uh, but at least this is a pretty good milestone. <coughs> So yeah, it looks like I'm not going to beat my previous time of robots at about 20 hours, because I am currently at about 20 hours. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see where we go from here. Might still eke out a better time than last time. Not that this is a speedrun, really, but I mean... <laughs> still. Uh, so, before we close, I'm just going to go pick up this ammo. Because this spot right here is my happy place in this base. And let's watch those biters and spitters uh, tear this apart. Yeah, that's not really a problem. I can just... They're, they will fall back to here and then that will kill them instead. Uh, but yeah, next up I guess is probably going to be to push out some of these defenses to more of these choke points. Now that I have flamethrowers. And then, of course, set up oil processing and get to robots as soon as I can. But that's going to be a story for another day. And for now, thanks everyone who's been watching. Uh, thanks for sticking around and chatting and having a good time. And uh, thanks also everyone who's watching this after the fact uh, in the, on the recording. Yeah. Until next time, have a good one, and I'll see you then.